I think that the experience of the United States in Afghanistan and Iraq uh, should basically teach us the following lesson, that the United States does not have the, the wisdom, knowledge, resources, or staying power to actually dictate a particular outcome like um, you know, democracy or good governance or you know, something of this sort. Uh, and uh, we shouldn't you know, really try to do that. Even with 150,000 troops in Iraq, we really couldn't create you know, durable uh, political institutions. Uh, my own um, view is that what you're seeing throughout that entire region is a spreading sectarian Sunni Shiite war in which you've got groups in each of these countries in Syria and Iraq and so forth. And then behind them are Saudi Arabia and Iran, which use them as, as proxies. And I just don't think that uh, the United States or other Western countries have the ability to, for example, figure out what the end game is going to be in Syria. Who the hell knows right now, you know? Uh, I mean, I have, you know, of course, yeah, well, it would be nice if it's a nice liberal Western-style democracy, but that's just not going to happen, right? So I don't think that should be our objective. I think uh, actually we've got to take a more modest position where uh, you know, we, we basically contain the problem. Uh, we prevent the worst actors like ISIS or, um, you know, the Assad regime from dominating the region, uh, which I think we can do largely with, with air power. Uh, you don't need uh, ground forces really to do this. Uh, but unfortunately, I think a lot of this war is going to have to play itself out and the bulk of the fighting is going to have to be done by people who are existentially threatened, you know, by ISIS, which the United States uh, is not. So that's actually my, you know, preferred policy in the region. In that respect, I think President Obama actually made a mistake by promising to destroy ISIS because I, I just don't think we should have permanent friends and enemies, you know, in, in that part of the world. Uh, I think rather we just need to push back against, you know, uh, against powerful people. If you destroy ISIS, among other things, that may lead to a victory of the Assad regime in Syria, which you've also said we don't like. So, uh, you know, so I think it's more achieving a balance rather than a particular political outcome that ought to guide our policy.